there's Amanda coming at you from Surfers Beach, Lutra. I'm a yoga instructor here on the island. I also take care of the, uh, or give regular yoga classes in Harbor Island and also I will um, be starting here in Eleuthera. Today I'd like to show you a couple yoga positions that you might find beneficial. Um, this is a balancing pose. Balancing poses are always wonderful to build your courage and to build your grace and to focus your mind. This particular pose is called the tree pose. You start with your feet together in mountain pose. Your arms are relaxed beside your body. You bring your weight onto the right side. Your leg is lifted up. Your foot comes onto your thigh. Hands are together. And as you can see, with the wind, <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> this next pose is a simple, very simple triangle pose. It's helpful to um, increase the strength of your spine. We're going to bring our legs over shoulder width apart. Inhale, your arms come up. Make sure your hips are straight. You have a tendency to lean. Straight hips. Leaning over, you tilt to the left side. Bringing your right hand gently on your knee. You're not putting much weight onto your knee. You extend your left arm out. Then you tilt your head up towards the sky. You want to feel the stretch starting at your left toe and working it up your entire left side of your body all the way out of your fingertips. That's how the energy is flowing in this posture. This is the cobra pose. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your legs are about shoulder width apart. You press against the ground, pushing with your hands and extending your arms. You extend them completely. Your head tilts back towards your feet. You should feel your shoulder blades come together and the energy this time starts at your toes and sweeps up your back and out of your head, lengthening your entire body towards the sky. So this here is the snowberry tree. It's one of our native bushes here in the Mojave. And uh, it's most well known for, if you have a problem, peeing your pants at night. And uh, you just take this little tree, you take the leaves off, you boil it in a tea, and voila, you give it to your child, or if you're still an adult, <laughs> peeing your pants, then you give it to yourself, and you will not wet your bed at night time anymore. But uh, another cool thing about this is the little berries. Back in the old days, they used to take these off and put it in a little bowl, add some cream, and make a delicious dessert. Okay, this bush is called the rock bush, or the sword bush, and uh, it's easily distinguished by its leaves that are firm and go in type of arch. Then also you will see that the tip end of it will be with ridge layers like a sword. And um, this baby is a very useful plant to have in the Bahamas because it's a natural painkiller plant. In the old days especially, one thing that they would do is just take the raw leaf as it is and place it in their mouth and chew it up if they have um, any pain in their mouth, it would ease the pain. But you can also boil it and ingest it for um, any type of pain in the body. This plant right here, as you can see, is the bay geranium. Around in these parts, they call this the cerise, which is a very typical um, plant found in the Bahamas as well, but it doesn't grow along the ocean shoreline like the bay geranium does. And also, the bay geranium happens to be a native plant of the Bahamas, as cerise is an introduced one. But um, the cerise and the bay, bay geranium both have 
uh, the same, almost exact same healing properties and uh, you can use them if you have a cold and make a tea, do an infusion with the leaf um, and it will wipe the cold right out. And um, you know it can also be used to uh, as a detox. It cleans you right out. Um, it'll clean your blood. Anything uh, found in nature that is bitter is naturally an anti antioxidant if it's safe enough to ingest. This is Amanda, and you're watching Mojo Kingdom TV.